Hello everyone, welcome back to another video at Round 3 Design. This is Anya and today I have a thank you card to share with you featuring the Honey Bee Stamps Thanks and Giving Honey Cuts and the Thanks and Giving Stamps. I'm going to start with some ink blending through a stencil and this is how I store most of my stencils. I had two empty 6x6 albums and my stencils fit into these sleeves perfectly. So some of them are doubled up, some are single, some are sets, but they all fit nicely. And since I am working with honeybee stamps, I decided to go with the honeycomb stencil. This is from Bo Bunny. It's one of their sticky stencils. And sadly, it's not available anymore, but there are many other honeycomb stencils out there that you can use that would work just as well, I'm sure. I do apologize for the glare. I prefer to ink blend on my tonic media mat, but since it's made of glass, it does, my lights are shining into the camera, so I do apologize. My paper I'm working with is Nina Classic Crest 80 pound cardstock in silver white. It's cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm using some makeup style brushes that I got on Amazon. It's not a particular brand, but I will link to the ones that I use below. And I'm using only three ink colors. Uh, these are all Distress Oxide inks. The first one is Picked Raspberry. The second one is Mustard Seed, and the third one is Blueprint Sketch. And you can see as I layer them over each other, I get the full rainbow spectrum from pink to violet. I love that I can do this with only three ink colors and it gets the full rainbow. And I'm going to just deepen the greens here a little bit more, a little bit more yellow, a little bit more blue. And then I will finish off adding a little bit more pink to the purple to make that a little more prominent there at the bottom. And that does it for this one. Look at the reveal. Oh, so pretty. I want to rainbow all the things. So now I'm taking out the Thanks and Giving Honey Cuts and the Thanks and Giving Stamp. I'm just cutting some dies apart here. I know that I want it to be, I want it to read thank you. So I'm going to use the dies instead of the stamp to make it dimensional um, and add some texture. The paper that I'm using already has adhesive on it. This is the die cut and bond adhesive from Art Deco Creations. And you can buy this on Amazon, I'll link to it below. So I'm going to first cut it out of some pearlescent paper. This is the American Crafts white pearl paper. And then I will cut three more of each of it out of the uh, white paper, which is just the Recollection 65 pound white cardstock. So here I'm using my EK Success reverse grip tweezers to poke them out of the hole. The, they have such tiny tips that I don't need a piercer or anything. So I just poke them out and then I walk, I kind of walk the end of my tweezers through the channel of the die to pull it out so I don't rip anything. And here's where I'm going to do the plain white. Just deciding what layout I'm gonna use and I'm just gonna eyeball some pieces here and cut the rest of them out. I am using my Gemini machine from Crafter's Companion, but I use it with the Gemini Junior pads, the plates, so that it runs through very quickly. I don't have to wait for the full size pad to run through. Here I'm just pulling out the plain white. And when you die cut phrases, particularly I notice it with phrases, but it does happen with images as well. Uh, when you run it through a die cutting machine and using a metal die, they cup, they kind of curl at the edges around where the die cuts it. So when you're layering them on top of each other, they, they like to just cup around the, the next die cut. So it's really easy to line them up. They kind of, they want to lock into place. And I will fuss a little bit with some of the accents on this font, but it's very pretty and I love it. Very delicate in some places, but it's totally worth it to stack these up. I don't know if you've ever looked at the honeybee products that coordinate, but their, their sentiment builders are amazing. I, I think you could have just one of each genre and never ha need another sentiment stamp again because there's so many different ways that you can phrase things. And they, I love that they stick snarky comments in there because we are all very sarcastic and love to laugh. So that's very fun to be able to add that into our crafting as well. 
I did have a couple pieces of the word think that was on two separate liner pieces, so I had to pull off some tiny bits of liner piece. But again, like I said, totally worth it. And I just adore how this comes out. I've got a still for you at the end of the video that shows how pearlescent this greeting is. So I'm thinking I'm going to do uh, from the bottom of my heart uh, with this, but I don't end up using that one. So I'm going to lay this all out and just adore that rainbow. It's so pretty. As I'm looking at the die cuts on the background, I think I just need a little separation to enhance the phrase. I do want it to still be light and kind of white on white, um, but I just need a little separation. I pulled out a piece of vellum, and then I've also pulled out the greeting that says, all I can say is, because then I decide not to do the other one, and I don't end up going with that one either. I've pulled out some nesting dies that do some frames and banner type things, and I'm running that through my die cut machine for the vellum. And it makes this cute, I, it looks like a, a shop sign to me. So then I decide this is where I finally land on a greeting. It's gonna say, I can't thank you enough. I'm just looking for an, a, a can't. There we go. And this is going to be my final setup of the phrase. So I pulled out my original size Misty and I'm trying to use one of the creative corners to line this up, but I do end up lining it up on the lid instead with my tweezers. So I, it's not the stamp's fault. I, my skin was very dry, so it was sticking to me and I have big hands. So these little tiny stamps are not cooperating with me. So I'm just checking and lining things up and it's too high. So I'm gonna move it down a quarter of an inch on the lid thank heavens that the lid is marked as well. And um, I've pulled out a transparency sheet that I use for testing stamping and you can see that it's perfectly even. All of my phrases are straight and I love it. So now I'm pulling out my uh, Inka Dinka Doo embossing magic powder bag and uh, just a kabuki brush that I got at the dollar store. And that's what I use to make sure that my embossing powder doesn't stick to any of the places I don't want it to. So I'm using Versafine, uh, or excuse me, not Versafine, Versamark ink and Ranger Super Fine Detail Embossing Powder in white. I'm also using the Wagner heat gun and I heat it a little bit from the back and a little bit from the front so that it doesn't warp because it's such a fine paper, it's vellum, so I don't want it to be all wrinkly. And I'm just lining things up, making sure this is how I want. Oh, so cute. And to put the adhesive on the vellum, I'm going to pull out my Xyron Creative Station. This particular model is not available anymore, but they have uh, a newer one that is more environmentally friendly. It has less uh, waste on it. So um, I will link to that below as well. But the Xyron is the only adhesive that I have ever used in the 20 plus years I've been crafting that actually you cannot see it through the vellum. It doesn't look like there's any adhesive on there whatsoever. It doesn't look darker. It doesn't make it look wet. I just, that's the only one that I found that works. So that's what I will continue to use. You saw me lining up the die cut to make sure that I had it positioned correctly. And I was just using the grid of the stencil itself to line up the, the vellum piece. Now I'll just peel off the last bit of liner paper on the die cuts and those go down just perfectly. It turned out so cute. Who would not want to get this happy rainbow card in the mail? I don't think we send enough thank you cards. Here is my card base. This is 110 pound Nina Solar White Classic Crest cardstock and it's cut at four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. And I've just put my adhesive on the card itself so I don't have to worry about the dimension of my panel. And that turned out just beautifully. Now I'm going to stamp on the inside. Uh, this is the Honeybee Stamps One of a Kind stamp set. This is my current favorite for any interactive uh, instructions or arrows, things like that. But it has on it these very basic shapes and they have outlines and the inside to, for each of these shapes. And I thought it would be perfect to add a little bit of love on the inside. 
I'm just using the same three ink colors and stamping. I stamped three blue and then I'm going to stamp on top with one of them with pink and one of them with yellow. And that makes my little rainbow on the inside. And that does it for this card. So thank you all so much for coming and watching and thumbs upping, subscribing. And here's that close up of the pearlescent. And I'll see you next time. Bye.